I want to talk with you regarding recent activities in association with 350.org and political activism in Maine with the Blow the Whistle events. On Valentine's Day, February the 14th, the residents of Portland, Maine awoke to a number of displays, including printed hearts posted up around the city. Residents in Portland, as well as in Augusta, encountered groups of activists dressed as referees intent on blowing the whistle on the corrupt sale of our country's resources to dirty energy interests. Groups met with representatives at Senator Susan Collins and Snow's offices and Representative Pingree to express concern for the corruption rampant in Congress relative to dirty energy. In Augusta, protesters developed an impressive skit to specifically challenge Senator 245,000 in dirty energy money Collins. The longer clip is available as a special edition clip at our website. Always open for business. In Biddeford, a group largely consisting of University of New England students protested on Main Street. Here's my report. As Maine goes, so goes the nation. On a cool but ultimately seasonably warm morning, activists stood on Main Street in Biddeford, Maine, wearing striped referee shirts, blowing whistles, holding signs, and engaging with their fellow citizens. These patriots had come to blow the whistle on the fiscal and political corruption rampant in the United States. Led by Katie Karen, an environmental sciences major at the University of New England, the Biddeford contingent of the 350.org action had come to meet with representatives of Senator 245,000 from Dirty Energy Susan Collins and Senator 130,000 from Dirty Energy Olympia Snow. To refer to Biddeford as a sleepy little town that morning would be a bit of an understatement. With many of the storefronts of this mill town shuttered, its residents slowly began their bleary-eyed awakenings. Though there were certainly those resistant to the well-intentioned persistence of the blowing of whistles, the interactions with these activists were consistently polite and curious. All acknowledged their awareness of the corruption, Many indicated that they had come to expect it as some form of perverse American way. What can I do, more than one person was heard to ask. Raise awareness was the response and the action of the day. References to hope did exist. Windmills, tidal energy, better gas mileage, solar panels. Sure, I'll sign on with you guys. But ultimately, appreciation expressed and awareness hopefully raised. There is certainly hope that as Maine goes, so goes the nation.